hi guys and welcome back to the channel as ever you can find me over on instagram at the house of langford and overall sews i'm also on ravelry at mad x stitcher and today's video is a little bit different we're gonna go to the stitch festival so sit back and relax and have a look at all the lovely stalls that were available <laughs>
the Stitch Festival is actually at the Business Design Centre in Islington, London, and it is the Spring Knitting and Stitching Show. It used to be held at Olympia, and then they went on, underwent a renovation, which is going to take quite a long time because it's quite a large space. So they moved the venue to the Business Design Centre, and this means it's a smaller venue, but there are three floors. So we went in at the very top floor, and what they do is they split entry. So some of the people coming in will go straight to the ground floor some of the people coming in will go straight to the top floor and that way it's not overly crowded because the bottom space is the smallest so we went in at the top that means that we're in the gallery space and what that is is a big loop around the building of all these little vendors so that was our first stop um i didn't actually get a lot of footage or photos from many of the stalls there um, a lot of it is mainly based on stitching so cross stitch embroidery or sewing based so there were quite a few fabric stalls um, I did pick up some fabric which I'll show you in a little bit but my main aim was to go and visit the toft stand and take some of my makes with me because what they do now I didn't know this until I saw Martin of Knit 365's um, vlog a little while ago is that if you take a finished make with you, then they will give you one of their exclusive patches. So my first stop was, of course, Kerry at Toft. And I took a big bag. Now I had them all in this one, which is an original HQ bag. Now I've never been to HQ. I got this off of a Facebook group, but Kerry was very pleased to see it, seeing as she hasn't seen one for a while. <laughs> So let me show you what I took. I took my Imaginists, but I won't show you that again. I took the Quacker. I took my Panda. I took Peter the Polar Bear. I also have the Manatee. I have the Mini Scarab. And I took Jackson the Bobcat. So I took quite a lot of makes with me because I've just been on a really big toft kick and I actually got a picture of Kerry with both the Quacker and the um, Bobcat which I think was quite cute and I also took a friend's um, mate to show them as well. I'm actually going to put these back in this bag because I need to pack them. So then as I said you get a patch from each of the Toft members at the stall if you go show them your makes. So I showed all of these to, Te to Kerry and got a, a picture of her with two of my makes and she gave me her chameleon badge. So this is Kerry the chameleon. Now I just need a patch bag <laughs> to put them all on. Um, and then I went and saw Beth on the other side of the stall and she has the Dutch rabbit which is really cute. And then lastly, I also spoke to Natasha, who has the two-toed sloth. And this one doesn't stick onto the card, that's why I'm holding it. But I now have three patches from different members, and you can put them onto a bag. They just iron on. They've got like um, a shiny on the back, which is the fabric glue. So I have those. I also got picked up some for... Um, my friend whose Imaginist creature I took with me as well. Um, but yeah, that was my main stop. I didn't really buy anything until I hit one of the fabric stalls. And I was like, oh, that would make really nice bags. So then I bought a couple of metres of each colour there. And then thought, well, now I need hardware. So I had to go and get all the hardware for them as well. So I'm going to show you what I picked up. And if I have plans for them, then I'll let you know. <laughs> Everything fits in my tote bag. The aim was that if we didn't fit in the tote bag, I wasn't going to bring it home. However, there is one thing not in this bag that I need to show you because I did purchase from Toft. So I'll find that in a moment. Um, I'm not actually sure where I've put it. Yeah, I'll find it in a little while. Anyway. Now I can't show you in order because it's all crammed into the bag. So I'm going to just show you whatever I pull out first. I think this is actually the last thing we picked up. So it is from Botanical Yarns. It is a sock set and it is the Stitch Festival exclusive. So there is a sunflower stitch marker which has been laser cut. It is four ply superwash 
um, 75% merino, 25% nylon. There are 140 grams, which is 595 meters. So we've got this really lovely neutral with some pops of color. It looks like flowers. And then we've got the pink and the lime green that pick those colors out. So I'm not sure what I'll do with that. Maybe once I get the hang of knitting socks, that will become some socks, but we'll see. I got it because it was pretty. I did pick up a couple of other bits from there. Um, but I'm not sure if they're reachable just yet in the bag. So we'll do that in a little while. Um, I was given a free tote from Hatch. Which is an embroidery software. So I need to go and have a look at their stuff and see if I can use it. I don't own an embroidery machine and I don't have one at work either. But I do have a friend that does. So depending on what this is like. Maybe she can have a go at it. So yeah. There's also a code in there for a free trial of the software as well. So I think I'm going to give that to my friend to try. Um, I picked up this really giant card from Katie Jones Knitwear, um, who is a crocheter. And she has been crocheting now, or at least as this brand, for 10 years. I didn't think it had been that long. I've seen a few of her sort of installations and they always look so much fun. So you'll have seen some of her work in different crochet magazines ah here they are this is the other thing i picked up from botanical yarn it is a rainbow clear case and what i have also bought is a stitch marker which is a skein of yarn and it's got like crystals and flowers in there which is not going to show up on my camera but i thought this would be quite neat to put some stitch markers in so that i can see them rather than having to root around for them and it folds flat so you can unpop the back as well which I thought was really cute now for the hardware I stopped by purple stitches and picked up two sets of rods to make um, the Emmeline bags retreat bag now it is a free download this pattern on the back so I've already have it this is for the larger bag I have made several in the past and that's what I bought fabric for at the show I also picked up, this might show you what colours the fabric is that I bought. Um, I've got rainbow zips in the white, tealy turquoise and navy to go with my fabric. They each come with one pulley, so I did actually buy some more pulls. Here they are. I picked up two extra bags of pulls, so I only have another ten. Um, all in the rainbow metallic they did actually have some with different shaped pulls like flowers and stuff on them but they were all different in the bag you didn't get five of the same one and I wanted these all the same so I just picked up plain ones now for the fabric they're going to go with so I got two different prints or two different colorways of the same print because I couldn't choose between them this one is purples and navies it's like a spacey astrolog astrological um colorway and then i couldn't resist the turquoisey with the pinks and stuff so i've got both so i have two meters of both i think i was only going to get one and then um this one was actually in two pieces on the reel so i was like well i'll just get all of it <laughs> just to use up that reel so yeah i have four meters of some really cool funky fabric but actually that's not the first thing i bought um, that fabric is from Lily's Fabrics, which is actually a pretty much local um, local fabric store to me. They're in Romford, which is not that far. It's about half an hour um, by car. And yeah, I will put all the details for the vendors that I went to or purchased from down below. But I'll also put a link to the website so you could go visit the others. Um, this was actually the first one I bought. Pikachu fabric. And I think I have two meters of this as well. So basically I saw... The gentleman at the store cut in a piece of fabric, piece of this off for somebody, for another customer. And I immediately went and stood by that bolt and was like, no, I want some of that as well. So I have Pikachu. There is Pichu, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Togepi, Pitlup, Piplup, um, Squirtle, Meowth, and Eevee. There's Charmander there and Bulbasaur as well. Um, so yeah, there's, I love a bit of Pokemon, don't I? So I have six meters of fabric. And that... Is everything I got. 
which is quite restrained for me. Um, I'm just going to quickly try and find the Toft stuff that I bought. And then, yeah, because that's that's that will be the last thing I bought. This is all fabric based, but like I said, most of this is to make bags because I've been told that actually the bags that I've made in the past are actually really nice and people want to buy them, but I haven't made any for quite some time. So once I have moved and I'm able to get to all my equipment, um, yeah, I think I'm going to set up and make some more bags. So I'm going to have to buy more hardware um, for these metal rods, but they're actually really quick to make up and you can also you can adapt them as well so I can add handles to them which will make them more useful to people but yes that's my little fabric haul and I want to quickly show you this is the show guide or show map from the day I didn't buy any merch as such but this has a full list of exhibitors and a map. Okay. So as you came in, if you came in downstairs, this is the entry point you came into. This little set of stalls here. Then you had to go upstairs for this big blue area, which had most of the fabric stalls. Um, they were quite congested, maybe here. And then the gallery space is this little thin runner around the top, which is where we went in. But there were side areas as well. So one had all the workshop spaces and one had, um, there was a catwalk in there. I took quite a lot of footage actually of the different um, pieces in the categories for the catwalk shows that were happening. It's like a dressmaking competition, so they had lots of different categories. You had evening wear, children's wear, men's wear, recycling, so sustainable clothing, um, knitwear, so knit and crochet as well. So maybe I'll maybe I'll participate in the future. I don't know. Depends if I come back or not. <laughs> um, yeah, so I did get quite a lot of footage of those. And there was a little art gallery as well. So it is on a much smaller scale than the knitting and stitching show. But there's still quite a lot to see. And we were there from 10am and left, I think, just after 1 o'clock. And... Mainly because we'd found what we wanted. We did have a look at almost everything. Um, but yeah, my friends took me with them. I'd already paid for my ticket, but they drove. So I went with them just because it was easier. And we live quite local. So yeah, that's the venue. <laughs> so let me go find the rest of what I bought. Now I actually went back to the Toft store twice. <laughs> The first time I was there, I picked up the Dinosaurs um, little magazine. So this is one of their Toft Quarterlies. And I've been eyeing this up for a while. Now, this was the last one on the stall. And it was the last day of the show. Because the show runs from Thursday to Sunday. And we went on the Sunday. So this was actually half price. So I'm very pleased that I picked up a copy of the Dinosaurs. And... I also bought another hook whilst I was there because why not? So I picked up a free mill hook to go with the dinosaur book. And then I went back a little bit later because I'd seen the display of all the sea creatures hanging up. And I know that I've seen the whale shark before. So I thought I would have a go at making that because now that I've done the manatee, I don't feel so bad about going just round and round and round. Um, so I picked up a ball of steel to make the whale shark. Um, it also requires cream. So I picked up a ball of cream. Now actually, in hindsight, I probably didn't need to get a ball of cream as well. But I was just like, I want the yarn to make that. Because it doesn't use a lot of yarn. So yeah, I have that to make the whale shark, which is called Briny. And I have that pattern in my Toft downloads already. But then, because I'd then seen one of the Triceratops made up on the shelf, as I said to Beth, what do I need for that as well? <laughs> which was another ball of steel in the big one. So 100 grams. The one that I'd seen was made up in Aran, but I didn't want to make it in Aran. I wanted to make it in 
DK. So I have two balls. And actually, if you'll notice, this is attached to something because I've already started the Triceratops and I already have a body. Oh, I've actually cut it off. But I already have a body. So I need to sit down and make some arms and legs and then make the head and the tail to finish off my Triceratops. And that is coming with me to the shop today once I finish Bo, the dragon, because I really need to finish him. Um, but yeah, that was our little day trip to the Stitch Festival. And yeah, I'm not sure I'll be going next year because I won't be in England. But um, yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll come down. I'm not sure yet. And yeah, I'm looking forward to working with the fabrics I've got and making up some new products in the future as well so do keep an eye on the channel for that and if you want to see any more of the vendors like i said all the details would be down below for you if you want to see more then hit the subscribe button hit the like button leave me a comment of what you think i should do with the sock set um like i said before i am not necessarily a knitter i'm more of a crocheter but i know that vicky brown does some crochet sock designs and I do have that book whether I've packed it or not is another matter but we'll see but yeah thanks for coming along to the show with me and I'll see you all again next time take care bye